the back, the big board. So this is the uh, the Mia Culpa edition of MBT. The what is it? The uh, Canadian Fourth Mechanized Brigade Battle Group or whatever uh, module. It's the Mia Culpa because. I had a couple of guys uh, offer me some tactical advice, <laughs> which I did. I really did try to implement. <laughs> I felt so bad that uh, it didn't work out the way uh, they said it should or would. But here I am. Uh, in fact, I was so not confident of of my ability to actually deliver on the plan that I gave the Soviets an extra company of units uh, or oh, sorry uh well it would be a platoon right an extra platoon of units three more uh, vtrs and three more squads now what transpired is through the inability of the soviets to roll well enough to get their smoke onto the map and given that th this is a very short scenario excuse me for a uh, MBT uh, game, we uh, we had to make moves anyway, and we had to press up anyway, and that that's what's caused part of the problem here. So <clears throat> the good news is we finally got smoke across here, uh, stopping the Leo and this guy from shooting as effectively effectively as they have been. Got these in these guys in close here with this uh, uh, tow unit, uh, dismounted tow unit. So he can't be shot at. I don't think. I think the range is minimum range is five, and if it's four, they're really in a, a world of hurt. But it's going to be extreme range. I think is how that works. It works in reverse with the toes, and so these guys hopefully will be able to dismount or, or move in a little bit, dismount, take out that tow. And then we could bring the four tanks that are off screen here, left, uh, the bridging unit, and what's left of this mess here, <clears throat> forward this way, pop down smoke again to uh, try and slow down the killing machine that's become the Canadians. The Canadian tow units haven't run out of ammo. I've rolled like a rock star the whole time for that. That's caused problems. And then... The hits have kept coming uh, on BTRs and tanks and things like that. So I was just about to do a close assault here. I've never actually done one before, so I'm going to resolve that. But the the fact of the matter is, when we look at the overall situation, given it's the we're halfway through turn six, right? Now it's a twenty turn scenario, so it's still got some time to go. Let's look at losses, though. I've got a damaged uh, fixed hull unit here. This guy's got a turret locked. We've lost six BTRs, four squads, and two two tanks. We're down to four tanks here. Uh, there's a BTR and another tank there, and there's a there's a tank there that's got uh, hull damage. Um, two BTRs here. It's it, it, no losses for the Canadians. I mean, just nothing. Uh, just not sure you know it just goes to show you how powerful defense can be and ideally i would think i would want some airstrikes in here i'd want a full company more of uh, soviet uh, btrs and infantry and maybe another platoon of tanks to really make this uh thing happen or more time so that you don't have to rush do this rushed hasty attack business because even with both with both uh, commanders being able to spot in, they still have to roll for the shots to go. Uh, at least that's my understanding, anyway. And, and given that they're both basically just pop and smoke, um, I haven't rolled for uh, ammo losses or anything like that on this for because they they just needed it. You know, we started off map behind here, but you know the first smoke screen was here. Then we put another one here, and now I finally got someone in position where they could, you know, lay something across here and and slow down this uh, this deadliness that was happening. 
keep in mind that all these guys have thermals so they can see but they'll take a penalty for uh, taking the shot so it's been a massive beat down on the soviets and i'll i'll credit that to crappy arty rolls number one amazing ammo rolls number two and really 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 crappy tactics from from my part as the soviets uh Interestingly enough, this Leo in the improved position here, <laughs> that makes a huge difference being hull down in that location. I mean, he got nailed twice, but it was a hull shot. So he survived, you know, you can just see those, uh, these, uh, what are they called? Uh, they're not saggers, they're uh, stabber rounds, 100, 100 millimeter. Uh, these guys, 100 millimeter rails coming out, the penetration of 110, right? So like a knife through butter, because we look at the Leo's uh, CE ratings there, we can go to uh, you know, this number here, well, whole front 23, even times one and a half, right? Nowhere near enough the stopping power to protect itself from, from the stabber. Now, just a straight up uh, uh, APF SDS shot is going to do it as well at closer point blank or or uh, short range. Even medium range has got a really good chance of, of taking out a Leo uh, on the, um, if we look at this on the level, look at the, look at that whole front armor. It's only uh, 28. So if I got a whole front shot, you know, man, you're pop, you're popping that bad boy. 60 for the turret. That makes sense, right? Uh, so that would mean you would need to be short range if you hit on the turret. Uh, probably not going to do it on, on a medium, uh, just with, particularly if you use the variable penetration rates uh, table. And you're not going to do it. So you have to be in at that short range for the for the T55s to be effective. Now, they're a crappy old tank, right? But they've been, been upgraded. They've got some, you know, modestly good armor. Uh, great, great missile unit, which also has to roll for ammo, which is a pain in the ass. And no one, no one failed there either. So it was interesting. All right. Anyway, so, so you know, my bottom line here is probably going to stop here because we've kind of just shattered the uh, the offensive. This is dead, right? There, there's a reduced squadron here that's suppressed. Hiding in amongst, there's actually three BTRs, or actually two BTRs there. One's brewed up, one's knocked out. There's, a not, uh, there's another knocked out one here. This is the command module. <clears throat> Can't really afford to lose him. He probably actually should dismount the way things are going. Uh, doing this close assault here that will resolve just so I can uh, actually finally do one. This BTR is toast. Oh, excuse me. I'm boring myself. All right, so it's time to stop. Uh, so I think... I'm gonna wrap it up. I think it's this. I think I need. I, I'm looking for either a live gameplay or a vassal gameplay opportunity. Uh, probably not vassal uh, by email, but uh, love to play some of this opposed with most of the full rules. If there's someone out there that's interested, so just a little little heads up for viewers and fans or followers, as the case may be. Uh, if you, if you're a player. Let me know. I'd love to get some experience playing against uh, seasoned players. As long as you're not a wanker, then it's all good. All right. Talk to you soon. MBT, the 4M, I can't read it, MBG module. Very, very cool. Lots of fun. Enjoying this immensely. Ciao.